It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion. This is for Wednesday, the 14th of August. I'm Michael Groff. Generally dry conditions, temperatures creeping a little bit above seasonal averages for the foreseeable future, as it sure looks like our monsoon is going to be on a hiatus or at the very least will be very confined to mainly the higher terrain of far eastern and southeast Arizona for the next several days. There's an outside chance we could see a storm or two this weekend, but for the most part, we're going to keep the forecast dry. And as we creep into later August, how much more of the monsoon could there be remaining for us? It's been another non-soon monsoon, hasn't it? All right, let's talk about it. The almanac from yesterday, 109 degrees, the afternoon high, 89, the morning low, 105 and 84, the averages, a trace of rain officially at Sky Harbor. If you were lucky yesterday, if you hit the rain lottery, like the one and only Michelle and I did while we were driving on the I-10 at about 10 o'clock in the morning yesterday. You did run into a pretty heavy shower, and that uh, skirted eastward toward downtown Phoenix. But other than that, it was pretty dry yesterday. All right, looking outside right now, just after 9 o'clock, we got mostly sunny sky. We've got 97 degrees at Sky Harbor. Dew point still sits at 61, but that drier air is coming in. Relative humidity, 31%. A light wind of the barometer, 29.94 inches and steady. The upper level weather pattern does note that things are a changing around here. All right, in the lower right hand corner of your screen, you've got Hurricane Ernesto. That's not going to be a factor to the United States. It's going to stay well east of the U.S and head up toward Bermuda, perhaps. We've got an area of high pressure over the southern plain states. We've got a trough moving into the west coast, and the flow aloft around here has switched out of the southwest, and that has effectively pushed all of that deeper monsoon moisture well off to the east. And even though there's some surface humidity around, that will mix out as we go through the day today and tomorrow and over the next few days. The watch warning map, we've still got heat advisories and issues with heat from the Gulf Coast of Texas and Louisiana northward, all the way up into parts of Kansas and Missouri. We've got a flood watch over parts of North Dakota. We've got some red flag warnings sitting over the Pacific Northwest and some issues with high fire danger because of that trough. It's not bringing much in terms of precipitation, but what it is doing is bringing some windy conditions. And they have had a very dry summer up there, especially on the other side of the Cascades and throughout much of eastern Washington, Oregon, Idaho, western Montana, Wyoming. It's just been very dry. And so as a result, wildfires that are already burning and the situation could be exacerbated, uh, even though temperatures will be a little bit lower, windy conditions will be present. Now, for us, we have an air quality alert in effect, and that's through tomorrow evening at 9 p.m. That's issued by the Arizona Department of Environmental Quality. That's for elevated ozone levels. Okay, convective outlook for today. We've got that standard slight risk of severe storms around Kansas City up toward Omaha. Elsewhere, that marginal risk of severe storms extends from parts of Utah, Colorado, Wyoming, eastward into the plains, the central and northern plain states. In Arizona, the southeastern corner of the state in the green, there might be a thunderstorm down there today. But overall, pretty quiet. The precipitation outlook, this is valid through Wednesday morning of next week. Rain amounts in Phoenix, probably nothing or very little, if anything. Rain amounts over the rest of the state generally at or under three quarters of an inch. And that's in the favored areas of northern Arizona around Flagstaff and across the far southern and southeastern portion of the state. But otherwise, things things are looking pretty quiet around here for the next several days overall. And we're going to talk about why that is in a moment. But let me show you this. Speaking of precipitation, this is our drought monitor for Arizona. And see how the drought is progressing. Uh, we have the D2 area, that severe drought that's over the far southeastern corner of the state. Uh, but much of the state is in that, um, I'm sorry, that's the D3, or D2 area, rather. Uh, that's the severe drought. The moderate drought, the D1 zone, uh, that encompasses roughly 20% of the state. And that includes uh, sections of Maricopa, Gila, Navajo, Apache, Graham, Greenlee, and Cochise counties. And so basically uh, central and southeast Arizona and a little bit of northwest Arizona encompassed in that. Uh, otherwise, much of the state is, of course, in the abnormally dry zone, uh, with the exception of the southern south central portion of the state um, where they've had a decent amount of rain. So places like Nogales and uh, down around Tucson or just west of Tucson, especially for parts of uh, Pima County, it's been pretty wet, but 
most of this monsoon uh, for a good portion of the state has been dry and so abnormally dry. And that's why the drought conditions will probably worsen at least for the next seven to 10 days and probably beyond that. And we're going to talk about why that is right now as we get to the models, take a look at things. This is the GFS. It is the 06Z run and it's valid at two o'clock this afternoon. There you see on the lower right portion of your screen, Ernesto, that trough that's off the East Coast that's going to help uh, pick it up and carry it northward toward Bermuda in coming days. We've got a trough over the Pacific Northwest and one moving out toward the Northern Plains states. And our ridge of high pressure has been suppressed a bit to the south and east. And what it means with that southwesterly flow for us down at the surface for the rest of the day today, mostly sunny. And high temperatures, yeah, about 105 to 109. That's a little bit above seasonal averages, but nothing crazy out of bounds for middle August. Uh, humidity levels will start to come down as we go through the day today. Those will be mixing out. So the dew points will come down a bit. And there could be an isolated storm over, over southeast Arizona, but that's going to be it for precipitation chances. Tonight, mostly clear sky. Overnight lows generally in the 80s. Tomorrow, it's more the same. Sunny, maybe a degree or two warmer. Highs around 110. Friday, same story, right around 110. Sky mostly sunny, air dry, same thing Saturday. Now, Saturday, we do note uh, the GFS is indicating a few more showers and storms coming in as the ridge intensifies a bit to the east of us. Some moisture may increase, but right now it sure looks like any storm chances would remain confined to the higher terrain of northern and eastern Arizona. We don't expect anything here in the lower deserts. As we go to Sunday, the trough continues off the Pacific Northwest coast. The ridge continues to amplify to the southeast of us. We're kind of in between those, but we're more under the influence of the ridge, so temperatures will continue to be on the hot side. Highs this weekend, again, right around 110, a couple of degrees either side of 110. Lows mostly in the 80s. The air mass will be relatively dry. We could see brief surges of lower level humidity in here, but they would be relatively short lived. And any rain chances, again, just confined to the northern and eastern part of the state. And even at that, they'd be widely scattered in nature. Uh, there is I I have seen some of our ensemble guidance kind of start to paint in some small chances of rain in here for Sunday evening. Uh, but at this point, we're going to keep that mention out of our forecast. All right, let's go into next week. And again, we continue with an amplified pattern. A strong ridge sits to the east across Texas and extending into New Mexico. We're on the western periphery of it, but unfortunately, it's more of an elongated ridge. And so the flow aloft is kind of southerly, which isn't absolutely the worst, but that's going to bring in some moisture, I think, to the eastern third of the state, maybe the eastern half of the state. But storm chances would still be few and far between, given that the mid-levels of the atmosphere, given that strong ridge, would be warm. And that the presence of that trough off the Pacific Northwest coast, it just it really looks like any storm chances should stay over eastern Arizona or across Sonora, maybe along the international border of our state. And Tuesday, it's generally the same thing. High temperatures will still stay pretty close to 110 degrees, maybe falling off a degree or two, troughing to the north and west of us, ridging to the south and east of us. And so we sit under this kind of south, southwesterly flow and some storm chances uh, across northwest Mexico and the far southeastern and east central part of the state. And that's going to be about it. A week from today, Wednesday, this is the 21st of August. The GFS continues to paint in some sort of tropical cyclone well off the Baja. And that's probably not going to be a factor in our weather right now because this ridge is very strong and it extends far enough to the west that and, and the trough is not quite strong enough to pick that system up or pick up any significant moisture and scoop it in here. So that system should stay blocked and should stay far away from us. Moisture levels would remain not. I mean, look, we're not going to see the moisture, the monsoon moisture that far away, but it's a strong ridge, warm air aloft, and still for our part of the state, a south southwesterly flow. And so that should keep the monsoon activity away from us, unfortunately. Um, this could change. And the, you know, it d really depends on, on the subtleties of how this ridge sets up and, and the structure of these features, this synoptic pattern. But right now, if we take the majority of our guidance at face value, it sure looks like, in general, uh, any chances of rain for us would be well under the 10% threshold 
for the next seven days and probably beyond that because as we go out 10 days, this is Friday the 23rd. Okay. Here's your 597 Ridge. It's sitting across Texas. We're on the western side of that. The trough continues to sit over the Pacific Northwest. We're showing you different maps, but they just look identical day after day after day after day. That trough isn't really going anywhere. This ridge to the east isn't going anywhere. We've got another upstream ridge north and west of that trough over the northeast Pacific and nosing up toward the Bering Sea. So this pattern is pretty locked in. And that's bad news because that just means that conditions are not going to change. Drought conditions would worsen. And generally speaking, uh, even though we won't probably see absolutely sizzling temperatures of 120 degrees or anything like that, with a 597 ridge not far from us, I suspect temperatures will remain above average. And on a day or two, depending on the exact position of this ridge, they could even approach record levels at times all right looking at rainfall for phoenix off the gfs ensemble out through the 28th of the month and it doesn't look that that great the ensemble mean from the gfs is around a third of an inch and that continues to come down now again most of the members do indicate that we would get precipitation over the next two weeks at some point but i am skeptical especially the european ensemble is dreadfully bad here on uh The ensemble mean just barely over a tenth of an inch, and many members show nothing at all. And again, the European has unfortunately, for the most part, been the realistic guidance here. The ensemble mean has been low all summer, and well, for us in Phoenix, for the most part, unless you've hit the rain lottery in a few places, there just hasn't been much to be had. And so this has been another just disappointing monsoon season. That's going to make three of the last five years Uh, dreadfully bad monsoons are three of our five driest monsoons on record or three of the three of the driest monsoons on record have now all occurred at least so far in the last five years all right temperatures off the national blend of models not uh not what you'd want to see here either i mean the temperatures above average every single day at least for the next 10 days record breaking not quite but still above average. Okay, well, you know, look, we warned you this was going to happen back in late May and early June. The Climate Prediction Center, so far, they have nailed it with this summertime forecast. Remember the June, July, August forecast that we showed you back there in early June showed above average temperatures, below average precipitation, and that, for the most part, with a couple of exceptions, that's been how it has played out across much of the state. That's going to do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video is due back here tomorrow morning. Should you happen to enjoy these videos, even if you don't particularly care for the message, okay, don't take it out on the messenger, be sure to subscribe, like, share, click that notification bell, leave those comments, questions, and suggestions. If your suggestion is, Mike, make it rain, I would love to, would love to. I can't. One day I will, I will be the master, the Lord and master of the universe. But until then, I only can talk about the weather. I cannot control it. All right. uh, Otherwise, uh, if you really do enjoy these videos and you want to support us monetarily, click that thanks icon below the video. Make those monetary contributions. You know, maybe with 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 a couple of contributions, maybe maybe Michelle and I will do a rain dance. We've we've threatened this before. Um, We could try a rain dance that might work. Um, Some sort of ritual. Maybe maybe a, a dramatic reading of some kind. I don't know. Something. Some seance. I don't know. Candles. Uh, I, I have no idea what, what we could do. Something. Read from an ancient tome. Something to bring some rain in here at some point. Uh, we will try that. But if you send in those donations, maybe we'll do that. Or you can donate to us via PayPal. Groffshow at gmail.com is the paypal address is groff show at gmail.com for paypal now of course i can't promise that any of those things would help either but i'll tell you that i mean we've tried everything else we tried the washing the car routine and all that did was bring a dust storm uh we've tried the i don't know tried everything all right 
Anyway, uh, the executive producer of the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion is my one and only the sweetest of all time, the Asian sensation and proprietor of SweetChildAZ.com.org and the Facebook page of the same name, Sweet Child Arizona, talking about my Michelle. Check her out. Check out her videos and everything else. All things Michelle related linked in the description below and perhaps rain dancing as well. Coming soon. All right. Um, otherwise, oh yes, our streaming station available 24-7, 365. It is called KMGX. We play a ton of music and have a lot of fun with that. So give that a listen too. Thank you guys so much for watching all of your continued support. So greatly appreciated. I'm sorry. It can't just be better news. I guess if we were doing the, you know, the Houston, the Houston, Texas, uh, discussion or somewhere else, Washington, some, some place that's getting rain. That might be great. But unfortunately this is, this is what we chose. All right. Maybe we'll go back to the Fairbanks, Alaska discussion. All right. Anyway, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Be safe, stay cool, stay hydrated out there. That's the most important thing. And you guys have yourselves a beautiful rest of your Wednesday.